What is Halux vulgus or bunions? Hi Fit Farm. A few months ago, I discovered that my right toe was developing bunions. This was during one of our physiotherapy lessons where we talked about foot deformities and gymnastics and my lecturer is actually who helped me recognize the difference in my feet. I had no idea this was happening. Millions of people suffer from bunions with thousands of cases arising daily. But bunions are a tricky form of deformity because first and foremost, most people will notice them only when they have reached advanced stages. And I believe this would have been the case for me if it weren't for this particular lesson. And number two, the pain from bunions is often attributed to tight fitting shoes and exercises, so often ignored. However, bunions, if untreated, can be a threat to both your physical and mental health. That is why I'm making this video to create awareness and prevention of bunions. So in this video, I will be explaining what a bunion is. But before that, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up by clicking the like button on your left below the video so that it can reach more people that will need it. And if you're new, be sure to subscribe and click on the bell button so that you you receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Also known as Halux vulgus, a bunion is a progressive deformity of the first metatarsal bone followed by the deviation of the big toe, also known as the halux, and is often followed by significant swelling, functional disability, and pain in the foot. This causes a visible bump around the big toe joint. The causes of bunions are quite controversial. They are linked to genetics, however, one obvious cause is wearing tight-fitting shoes or socks that squeeze your toes together and high-heeled shoes over a long period of time. And for this reason is why 90% of bunion patients are women. As a matter of fact, studies showed that cultures that rarely wear shoes like Africans in the South never suffer from bunions. However, men get bunions as well, plus they are also common in seniors with 60% rate higher than the younger counterparts. Other groups of people prone to bunions are the diabetics due to poor blood circulation issues, athletes and people who work out often and are always wearing sports shoes that are fixing their toes. There are four main stages of Halux vulgus. In its first stage, you will notice the thickness of the skin, like a swelling at the base of your big toe, which may become red and uncomfortable as well. This stage can be reversed by physical therapy. The second stage, which is mostly painless, the bunion will become more defined. You will also notice that the big toe is starting to face towards the other toes. This stage can possibly be reversed with physical therapy. In the third stage, the bunion is very pronounced and it makes everyday activities like exercising uncomfortable. The head of the big toe goes deeper into the direction of the other toes. In addition, the first metatarsal bone of the big toe becomes dislocated from its original position at the bottom of the foot. This stage can be reversed by surgery. In the fourth stage, bunions become unbearable and will need surgery. The big toe becomes crippled and completely spills over to the other toes and this greatly affects mobility in the foot joints. Moving on to treatment and prevention of bunions. It is very important to know that bunions will not go away on their own. In fact, if you leave them unattended, they will just keep worsening by the day. The first option to do is to stop wearing tight fitting shoes and you may need to always buy a size bigger or even look out for barefoot shoes. Shoes that are wide at the tip and allow your toes to move freely. However, this will only prevent your bunions from becoming worse, but will not take away the problem. The second option is physical therapy. For instance, performing foot exercises that help to strengthen the foot muscles, as well as improve mobility and flexibility of the foot joints, in addition to stretches and foot massage techniques. 
I'm going to be sharing extra videos with some of the best exercises for this purpose. For that reason, make sure you subscribe so that you do not miss out on this. The third option is to combine exercises with banyan corrective gadgets like toe separator bandages. You can wear these with your shoes and they come in various materials like silicone. Wearing these will further prevent your banyans from getting worse. Make sure you avoid buying fake products. Do your research before purchasing the proper product. The last option when all the above is not working out is surgery. However, like any surgery, this is an invasive method, but on a good note, I have read many stories about successful banyan surgery. And if it is the only alternative you have, be positive that it will go well for you. Otherwise, consider that if you have to pay for it, it is quite expensive. It may also take you over six months before you recover completely. It will leave you with a scar, which is not so bad as the pain is worse and it is not 100% assured to solve the problem. Now, if you do not have banyons yet, prevent them by ditching any tight fitting shoes, especially those shoes that are narrow at the tips and squeeze your toes together. I'm sorry ladies, but minimize on the high heels. Walk barefoot as often as you can. Plus, do foot exercises to strengthen foot muscles and promote joint mobility. And lastly, invest in quality footwear. And well, that is just about it for today. Please do share this video with your friends and family so that it can reach more people who may need it. Do not forget to connect up with me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. Don't forget to check out my other videos as well. See you in the next video. And don't forget to love yourself first and keep fit for health. Bye for now.